All I, all I wanted was a hundred million dollars and a bad chick. Imagine this a muscle nice and felt like that I had it. Back on the mattress, staring at the ceiling. What's popping, YouTube? What's popping, gang? What's popping, squad? What's good? What's good, guys? Guys, today I'm gonna start the day off with. You know what time it is. Let's get it. Hopefully, every time I do these, I get slowly bigger. And then I become like a Arnold Schwarzenegger or something. You know, stretch, stretch, stretch. Uh, uh. Bang, bang. Oh. oh, it's heavier today. Oh. 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 Four. You know we does this, we do this. Guys, I had a, I had a wrist injury. I think it was last year, and I was playing baseball, not in high school, but it was like a summer league thing. And I freaking slid to third base, and I just rolled my wrist, and I like sprained it or fractured it or something. But I never let it heal, so it's hurting me till this day. Which sucks because every time I bench press, it kind of hurts, but I go through it because you know I gotta get big. But yeah, that sucks. Injuries are the worst, and I had about 50 of them. Actually, that's a story time. Well, look, so you see, I don't know if you can see it, but I actually did crack open my head right here. Background, so let's sit down for this. So, my head, how it got cracked open. Well, I was wrestling my f my friend. I used to, when I, okay, this was in Colorado. So I was wrestling my friend and I had this little computer desk type thing. And I tried to go tackle him, but he went under and I just started, I flew over him and I just cracked my head on the computer. Blood was flowing down. I was like, mom, crying and everything. And she was like, what? And then I, she looked at me and she started freaking. So I had like a whole bunch of stitches on my forehead. And then, right, you probably can't see it, but there's two scars, one right here, one right here. So this one was when I was younger, and young, young, back in, I think, Germany. And I tried to tackle my brother. My dad told me to tackle my brother, and so I went after him. Dude, my brother dodged it because he was older than me, and uh, he was smarter. And I hit the window. I hit a corner of a window and cracked my eye, op eye open, I guess. I don't remember that at all, but that's what people say happened. And then this one was when I was like 16, 17. I was going to play basketball and I didn't want to walk. So my mom and my brother were driving. My my brother just got his, uh, just got his uh, permit. So I wasn't thinking. I was just like, bro, I don't want to walk. Even though it was four houses down. I was like, I don't want to walk, so I hop on the side on the side of the uh, on my mom's car. She had like a Denali. It was like a suburban type thing, and uh, so it was pretty big. So I hopped on the side of the railing, and the window was down. And I had a basketball in my hand still. So my brother's driving, and I guess my mom, for some reason, thought he was gonna stop. So she rolls up the window. Right? What the heck? I freaking freak out and. Throw my hands like that, and I'm like, oh crap, I just let go of the car. And so I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to get ran over. So I jump backwards, far, and it was like jumping on a treadmill going super fast. And then I just went, uh, landed on the concrete, and then went, boom, smacked my head right there. And I had to get stitches on that too. And then another set of stitches. So on my knee right, right here, if you could see it, it's like right here. There's stitches right there. So, I was uh, playing basketball with my cousin. He was older than me. He was like probably seven years older than me. But I'm playing basketball with him because, you know, I was trying to be a baller. You know, baller's life was, you know, when we were kids. So, I was playing this dude and the ball, the ball goes almost out of bounds. So, I go try to save it. 
and I hit my art. I landed on my knee in the grass. So what I didn't know at the time, and what you know, uh, what y'all don't know, is it was bricks under the grass. So I don't know why my grandpa put bricks under the grass, but there was, and they weren't like evenly laid out. It was pointed up, like some were pointed up, some weren't. But he probably did it when he, like it was way way back when he first got the house. So you know I would, probably wasn't even alive. But uh, that happened, and I dove for it, and it hit my knee, and it really didn't feel like nothing. But I'm like, you know what? He and then my cousin's like. Bro, it's just a scratch. I'm like, no, it's not. I was in jeans. So I rolled it all the way up and it just like gashed open. I'm like, so I start freaking out. Of course, I was like in freaking second, third grade. And I start freaking out. And then, I kid you not, I saw a four leaf clover in my kneecap. It was freaking weird. But that, that was all my stitches. And I tore my meniscus when I was in high school. I bruised my tibia and fibula when I was in high school. So that really messed up a couple of sports for me. Baseball. But, uh, yeah, baseball. Shoot. My coach hated me. I want to do some stuff in baseball. I didn't even start. I don't even suck. I didn't think I sucked, but I think he thought otherwise or something. But some stuff happened, you know, at the end of my sophomore year, and I ended up, I ended up, uh, getting suspended. So, uh, for beating up a kid, but... That wasn't the case, you know, long story, long, long story. But that was with my brother and like four different other people on the baseball team. But, uh, yeah, long story short, we got suspended. And then uh, we supposed we beat up the kid and the kid went home, told his mom. I don't know if that's what, that way, that's, that was his intentions to do, was to tell his mom. But he did that and uh, his mom freaked out, of course, being a mom. And then told the principal the next day, and then I'm sitting in class, and my baseball coach knocks on the classroom door and says, Hey, can I talk to uh, Josh Massey real quick? And, you know, I'm just thinking it's something about baseball. He just needs to tell me, like, hey, wear this uniform, you know, blah, blah, this, or, something, you know, something like that. You know, just talk to me. And then he goes, so what happened uh, yesterday in the locker room? I'm like, um, I don't know. Uh... Maybe, well, of course I did know, but I'm just like, well, I don't know, probably dumb. And he's like, he's like, everybody said you did it. And I go, oh, wow, snitches. Okay, snitches get stitches, you know? But, uh, yeah, ended up, long story short, got suspended with my brother and four other players, and uh, we got kicked off the team. But that was the last game of the season, so it really didn't matter. But, so I come back, and then, uh, the next year I get hurt so I'm not even on the team so uh then then senior year I try out again and then of course I make it because I didn't this is me I didn't suck but he probably just put me on the team just because he just wanted that extra person but I didn't even start on senior night I didn't start any game I think I had I think I came in for one inning one time maybe one at bat it was pretty stupid like the one time I did play was my one at bat I played I I literally went got to bat one time and that was it that was it and I got a single and I hit it it, it was uh it was at it was actually at this like uh triple A stadium like minor league stadium they called the 10 caps and you know got my single and then that was it uh got a couple cheers my mom cheering for me because she knows that it was the first time that I got to play really so it was pretty lame, you know? But yeah, that ruined my career. So, thanks Coach Brumball for being a D-I-C-K. But, um, yeah, that's it. That's it, you know? That's my injuries. The to the, me the meniscus kind of set me back. I used to wrestle, if you guys didn't know. And my I tore my meniscus in wrestling and bruised my tibia and fibula in wrestling. And I actually wasn't bad. But I didn't pay attention at all. I just goofed around, wanted to make people laugh. You know me. So, uh, that was right, that, there's only one burger left. Yeah, yikes, huh? Yeah, there's only one burger left. I ate the pizza rolls yesterday. Pizza rolls are smacking. Guys, I didn't go to bed till like 5 a.m. yesterday. What time you go to bed, Moody? Yeah, like 3, I seen you get up and go upstairs and I was supposed to.
I think I got some chocolate milk. But there's no chocolate syrup left now. Yikes. But there wasn't a lot left. I mean, the chocolate milk wasn't even, like, chocolatey. But, yeah. I need to find some food. Oh, there's orange chicken. But there's no rice. Would we... Would, would it be... <laughs> peanut butter, no jelly. Ham, no cheese. <laughs> Yikes. But, yeah, that... Hey, welcome to the start of my day. Let's get it. Let's go. Just kidding. This is the end of the vlog. Love you guys so much. Peace out. Subscribe. Let's do it. Let's get it. Yeah. Wait, there's something I got to elaborate on. Oh, yeah. So, big question that's always asked. Am I still friends with Chris and Queen? Armand and Trey and all of them. The squad, pretty much. Jordan, Antonio, all of them. You gotta be dumb. Yeah, I'm friends with them. I FaceTime like every single day. Like, please, hop off. I'm friends with them. Guys, whoever enters my lives, Instagram lives, YouTube lives, stop asking a question. I'm friends with Chris, Queen, Armand, Trey, Perfect Laughs, Tay. Ooh, I was rhyming. Jordan, Antonio, all of them, guys. All of them. Chill. Amy Vaughn, please stop. Y'all asking, oh, yeah, blah blah and fun guys watch the videos. I made three whole videos with them. I play basketball with Vontae all the time So chill out, okay? Gosh, so annoying But yeah, I'm still friends with all of them, but love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm here elaborating on a whole bunch of stuff Love you guys. Peace